Good, Good morning, morning Kerala Bai. It's Tuesday, April 26th. I'm Adam. And I'm Edwin. And, and here are, are your morning, morning announcements. announcements. This week is Spirit Week, so have fun and be sure to dress up to earn points for your grade. There will also be games and activities each day at lunch. The reigning themes are as follows. Tomorrow is Halloween 2.0, Thursday is Bougie Dress Up Day, and Friday is Fact or Fiction. The Career Discovery Expo is hosting a Women in Trades event today from 6 to 8.30 p.m. This virtual opportunity will help young women discover various pathways and apprenticeship opportunities in the trades and see what organizations are looking for in a candidate. See Mr. Shea in SST if you have any questions and for registration details. For anyone wishing to run for the Colonel by Student Council for the 2022 to 2023 year, applications are up on the CB homepage and are due by May 1st. Ask see Mr. Barry if you have any questions. Hey Edwin, did you hear the grade 9 you're able to solve who vandalized the periodic table? Really? That's right, the French department Frustrated that the periodic table is only depicted in English was responsible for the crime. But thanks to a great line detective, the French and science department are back on good terms. Wow, good thing they were able to solve it. Yep, and Link wants to thank everyone who participated and offer a huge congratulations to the winners of the SFU for getting the answer right, completing the case fast, showing incredible collaboration, and earning themselves some sweet Cineplex gift cards. Wow, nice job, Cougars. Congratulations to all those who have won. Congratulations, Cougars. Speaking of Link, attention to all grade 10s and 11s. Are you interested in becoming a Link leader next year? Maybe you've picked Link in your course selection for next year, or maybe you're just curious about it. If this applies to you, Link will be hosting two information sessions next week on Tuesday, May 3rd, and Thursday, May 5th, at lunch in the gym. For more information, please get in touch with me on Amazon. Attention all LGBTQ plus students. Pride Guide is hosting a national youth survey. Take five minutes to fill out the survey at the link below, which is also posted on the CB homepage under news. Please remember that masks are required indoors at school. Please do your part to help keep everyone safe. Well, that's, that's all from us today, CB. Now, now here's, here's your sports, sports desk. desk. What's up, sports fans? I'm Mike. And I'm Sam. And this is your Sports Desk. Our Junior Girls Volleyball team suffered a hard-fought loss last Wednesday against Sacred Heart, losing three sets to two. This unfortunately knocked them out of the playoffs and thus ended their season. Congratulations on a great season, and we hope to see you back again next year. Last Tuesday, April 19th, the Junior Badminton team played at the Junior East Conference, placing fourth in the Girls Double and Boys Single Open events, as well as first in the Mixed Doubles and Boys Doubles events. Congratulations, Cougars! Last Thursday, our Senior Badminton team played in the Senior Far East Tournament, and came home with two bronze, two silver, and a gold. CB came in second place overall, only behind Franco Cité. And 11 CB Badminton athletes will be heading onward to the NCSS AA Tournament today. Tuesday, April 26th. Congratulations to all competing athletes and good luck out there. In other news, we got to check out the Varsity Girls tryouts. Let's take a look at the future of CB Soccer. What's up Cougars? I'm here this morning to check out the Varsity Girls Soccer tryouts. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> So I'm here with Allie. Allie, what made you want to try out for the Colonel By soccer team? Um, I love Colonel By. I love soccer. Why not be on the Colonel By girls soccer team? All right, that sounds very understandable. And uh, what are your hopes for the future of the team? I think everybody's really good. It's a really strong team. Um, and I hope we can go far. All right, all right, sounds great. And now, personally, I've been pretty terrible at soccer my whole life, so I'm interested in hearing your advice. How do you consistently score goals? Um, First of all, shoot, um, be nice to your teammates, and um, practice, I guess, yeah. All right, thank you. Sounds great, I'll try that out. Wow, 
that advice worked. As you can see, we've got a great team on our hands, setting it back to the desk. Oh, Mike, I think you look really good out there in a girl's soccer uniform. Thanks, Sam. Wait. So, um, we haven't done a mailbag in a while, right, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to our mailbag segment, Cougars. Where Sam and I read your emails to us. Our first email comes from Tim Way. Who do you guys have winning the NBA Finals this year? Well, I like the way the Celtics have built up their roster. Jason Tatum is a superstar, even though he's only 19. I have Miami winning it all this year. They've been so underappreciated and underrated as a one seed this year, and I think with Kyle Lowry's leadership, along with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, I think they're going to take it home as the dark horse. Our second email comes from Annika Cooper. Have either of you guys been following the Auto 67's playoff run? If so, do you reckon they'll come back and win the series? Well, after a tough 7-6 loss, I reckon that they'll be able to come back and win the series. We've got a strong team this year. For once, Mike, that sports take was somewhat reasonable. I as well think the 67's are going to come back and win the series. Our last email comes from Daniel Thomas. Loving the show this year, guys. Any tips for someone wanting to be a part of Sports Desk next year? Develop your memorization skills. Be prepared to be hounded by Leafs fans and for everyone to know you as Sports Desk Guy. And with that, that's all we have for you today, CB. This is your Sports Desk, signing, signing off. off.